Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with some cases from the British company Gear 4 for iPhone 7 Plus. These cases use the Material D3 O to give significant impact protection. They all promise impact protection of up to 3 meters or 9 feet while remaining remarkably slimline. We have a slimline TPU case, a leather case, and a wallet case to look at today. So let's take a closer look at all three. So the first case that I wanted to share with you is Gear Force Piccadilly case. This is a transparent polycarbonate backed case with uh, TPU sides that have D3O in them. And for those of you that thought that D3O had to be orange, you can guess again because Gear 4 now has what they call an injectable metallic color matched D3O. So they can kind of do anything that they want with it. This one is obviously intended for a rose gold phone, but this particular case comes in the rose gold color. It also has a gold and a silver color, although nothing particularly special for the black unfortunately. So let me put my phone in here even though this isn't a rose gold phone you'll still be able to get a good effect from it. Very easy to get on and off. We have a really nice fit on here when you put the phone in. There is not tons of lip on here but there's certainly enough. Keep in mind I do have a tempered glass screen protector on here. This is the Zag Sapphire Defense screen protector for those of you that are curious. So clearly this case works perfectly fine with a nice case compatible tempered glass screen protector. Looking at our port openings, lightning port opening is very generous. You should have no problem with most most third-party lightning cables going around to the sides here. So nice to have this nice um, splash of color on the sides even on a matte black phone still looks nice. I really like the fact that they've been able to change the color of the D3O. I mean the orange was kind of interesting but yeah cut kind of tiring after a while. We have a little D3O branding here. Our buttons are nice and clicky no issues there. No problems in getting to the mute switch. Going around to the other side, we have a power button, also nice and easy to press. Looking at the back of the case, you can see that this does a good job in showing off your beautiful iPhone 7 Plus. Although if you have the matte black color like me, keep in mind that a clear case is going to show off any little uh, bits of dust or dirt or anything like that, like a mirror. So you have to keep it really, really clean to make it look good. We do have some Gear 4 branding here at the bottom and a little D3O branding at the top. Just a very, very nice case. There's also plenty of protection here for your protruding camera. You don't need to worry about that. So just overall a really pleasing case. Case removal is very easy. No issues there. Again, this is the Piccadilly retailing for $34.99. So our next case here is a wallet case. This is the Oxford wallet case and it retails for $39.99. This case also has metallic injectable color matched D3O in it. This is the gold version in case you didn't figure that out by yourself looking at it. This also comes in a rose gold, a silver, and a black version although they sent me the gold so we'll have to muddle through somehow. Um, this case is very similar in terms of construction to the one that we just looked at, although the back, rather than being a polycarbonate, is a soft TPU material. And um, of course, it does have your card slots here and a cover, and it does have a stand, which is pretty cool. So let's put the phone in. Very easy to get your phone in a case like this. So looking at our card slots, as I said, we have two card slots. You can fit two cards, but really I wouldn't fit any more cards than that. These are fairly tight. It's not the type of case that is intended uh, to fit multiple cards per slot. This does have a very nice little stand function here that works quite well. And unlike some wallet cases, when you put cards in here, this still closes fine. They have designed this to actually be used with cards and to accommodate them properly, which is nice. Some uh, wallet cases, once you actually put cards in there, become incredibly obese and won't even close. Uh, that is not the case with the Oxford. So I'm glad that they did such a good job in designing this. Fit-wise, as I said, very, very similar to your Piccadilly case. Uh, we still have a nice amount of lip on here. Screen protector fits the same. We have the same kind of port openings here. And all of the buttons are behaving just the same. 
We do have uh, this additional latch here, obviously, that we didn't have in the last case that we looked at. This does a really good job in keeping your wallet case closed, quite nice and secure. However, it does get a little irritating when you have it open because it's jutting out. This is not like a soft plastic. This is a relatively hard plastic and it just kind of sticks out here like this. So it's if you're holding it with the cover folded back, which is fine, you kind of have to put your fingers around this plastic bit jutting out. So that's not really ideal. So again, $39.99, this is the Oxford, comes in four colors. This is your gold. There's also a silver, rose gold, and black version. The last case that I wanted to show you is, in my opinion, actually the nicest of the bunch. Not surprisingly, it's the most expensive. This one comes in at $49.99, and it is that unusual creature, a drop-protective leather slim case. So most leather cases are not drop-protective. I've seen some drop-protective uh, wallet cases that are made of leather, like the Otterbox Strata, but usually the slim leather cases do not have any drop protection. But this one has the same nine feet of drop protection as the other Gear 4 cases that I've been talking about today so that's just really really nice. The leather has a pleasant feel to it. This is described as a fine quality leather but not premium or super premium or top grain or any of those things. So that's about how I would characterize it. Um, it has a very nice feel in the hand but you know you're not going to mistake this for the leather on something like a Vaja or a Sena case either. Looking at the interior of the case, we have a soft TPU, and then we have some genuine orange D3O. I guess there's no point in dyeing it if it's going to be on the interior of the case and no one can see it anyway. Um, very easy to get your phone in. Just slide it in. Has pretty much exactly the same fit as the other cases. Um, I think that the lightning port opening is a little deeper than on the others, but still you shouldn't have any issue with most third-party lightning cables. We have a nice amount of lip with this case, and it fits nicely with our Zag Sapphire Defense screen protector. Going around to the sides here, you can see that there is a separation here. The top bit is TPU, and the bottom part is leather going around to the sides. This has a nice amount of grip on it. Not super grippy, but very nice in the hand. We do have some D3O branding here. Volume up and down buttons are very nice and clicky. And our mute switch is no problem to get to. Going to the other side, power button is very nice and easy to press. Looking at the camera opening, you are nicely protected in terms of your protruding camera. No worries there. Everything's fine with the flash. And we do have a tiny bit of Gear 4 branding here, but it's actually even really hard to see because it's so subtle. So overall, just a nice case. Feels great in the hand. And I really love having that 9 feet of drop protection in a slimline leather case. This case is available both in this lovely brown color as well as a black leather, and it retails, as I said, for $49.99. Again, we've been looking at the Piccadilly, Oxford, and Mayfair cases by Gear 4 for iPhone 7 Plus. The Piccadilly TPU case retails for $34.99. Your Oxford wallet case retails for $39.99, and the Mayfair leather case comes in at $49.99. I will put links below where you can find out more about them. Many thanks to Gear 4 for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions about these cases, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please consider it. I do try to put out two to three videos a week on accessories for iPhone 7 Plus, iPad Air 2, and Samsung Galaxy S7, and I would love to have your support. Again, this is Kristen, and these are the Gear 4 Piccadilly, Mayfair, and Oxford cases for iPhone 7 Plus. Have a fantastic day.